Ken Surfs here, another shave video. It's Friday, the end of the week, and uh, looking forward, it's gonna be the uh, Surf City Wet Shavers Meetup uh, luncheon tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And I got a chance to clean out my shave den after you know being off for three weeks and having relatives over and everybody in the world's using this. You know, only, only two bathrooms in this house. So uh, this got used a lot by people other than me. So I'm uh, going to be trying out something that I picked up in Texas uh, when I was back there. And it's Badger Shave Soap Navigator Class. And you know, it doesn't really talk about the smell in it. You get it, it's a puck, a nice puck. Badger, I don't know if you can see that, that reflection. Almost got an almond smell. And, no, 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 let's see. Yeah, tells you how to shave. But it doesn't tell you, use pre-shave oil, rich soothing lather, blah, blah, blah. Where's the ingredients? Uh, oh, sandalwood. It's vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, cardamom, black pepper. Does smell good. It was, uh, where'd I get it at? Oh, I forgot the, uh, it'll come to me. Uh, it'll come to me. It was in Texas for sure, but it was at one of those, uh, uh, one of those uh, breakfast places you can go and they actually have a gift store attached to it and uh, It was only 11 bucks so From Gibson, New Hampshire So we'll try that out today and I'm excited uh, my uh, My best friend from you know high school days the gentleman who makes these which are uh, You know they hold up my Hold up my razors on display. He hasn't made them in a while, but uh, he's a great machinist, talented guy, and he makes them. He picked me up this for Christmas, him and his wife. So uh, what it is, it's a, it's a nobleman uh, pewterware shave mug from Sheffield, England. And what intrigued me is it has an insert. So correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comments, because I love to hear... Uh, the theory I was told, uh, they bought it, uh, I don't know if they bought it, uh, was it was in an antique store or something, but the uh, the gentleman, or they, they had said that the, the theory is you fill this with hot water, you put that in there, you put your soap in, and it keeps everything warm. So I'm going to go with that theory today. I've got some uh, water heated up here. I'm going to be, uh, my bore brush is uh, breaking in really good. So I've got the uh, Samogue 830 soaking in there, and I'm going to be trying... The 37C Mercure today, the slant, with uh, one of those other Wilkinson sword blades I was talking about. This one I use uh, quite often. Uh, they're really reasonably priced. They're made in India. The Saloon Pack, oh, man, they're, they're just great. I can use these several times. I try not to. They usually end up in my blade bank after two or three. But uh, really good blades. And the ones that are made in England that I've been using, uh, they don't make them anymore. So it's almost like I'm going to run out eventually. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set up the shave. I'll be using some Parasso today. And for aftershave, where did I put it? Did I put it away like an idiot? I put it away like an idiot. It's probably sta ah, staring me right in, right, right in front of me. Eternity Now, Calvin Klein, Aftershave. Now I've got the, uh, right back up here. I got the old school Eternity that, uh, you know, they came out with this in the 80s, but I guess this new stuff is kind of a modern version and it actually smelled real good. Uh, the one time Christmas shopping, I didn't really mind. My wife was gonna buy me something for Christmas, some Aftershave and, she was trying out all, you know, having the salesman try, test out all these different things on those, uh, those, uh, I don't know, those little piece of paper they spray it on. You can check it out. And uh, this actually smelled good. My only downside to this, I'm going to, not that I'm knocking it, it is an aftershave, but the original, it's a pour top. The new one, it's a spray top. So I'm gonna spray it in my hand, put it on. I 
It might get crazy. I don't want to get it in my eyes. So I'm going to try that out today. So let me see if I can get this all set up. And we'll be right, right back. I got that badger shave soap in that pewter dish. I got it blooming a little bit. That puck's a little hard. And uh, we'll go with some Parasso today. Feeling a lot better. In fact, I went to my doctor's today. I go uh, quite often to get, you know, checked up. Uh, I had some kidney issues. And uh, actually, it was a good checkup today. Doctor took me off all the medication. Got my weight down to, uh, man, losing weight it just sucks. You know, got down to 214 pounds. I'd been like 225, 230. And that's when, you know, Everything gets bad. Blood pressure goes up. Everything gets bad, especially especially when you're older. When you're younger, and you can do anything. So he says, hey, lose four pounds. Get down to 210. Should be the end of your worries. So that's all I got to do. We'll see what we can do. Gives me an excuse to go to the gym again. But when I was in there, half his staff was off sick. So this cold, I don't know where you're at, if people are getting colds, but uh, it apparently, uh, it's not the flu, but there's these bad colds going around. So uh, I'm almost over mine. So I'm very grateful that, the, that that's over with. And uh, I'm glad it wasn't only me that it was happening to. So, all right, so I got the Omega Bore brush. I'm gonna dump out some of this soapy water there. I've got this thing right in here. As you can see, we'll try this out. Reasonably priced stuff. Man, it's nice and wet though. Let's get rid of some of that, huh? All right, nicely priced. Doesn't smell so bad. This video is gonna run over 10 minutes. Sorry. But it does lather up. Look at that. Try to keep it in the bowl. Man, I like that shave mug. Oh, nice. Nice. And this brush is softening up now. I have to keep looking at the camera because I did do a video once where I accidentally stopped it. Did the whole shave, talking away, get done, go to edit, no video. So I check periodically. You're going to see me looking off this way, making sure it's still recording. All right. And the actually the 37C is almost a mirror to the 34C, except it's a slant. So it does give a guillotine-like cut. Well, right away I see the soap starting to dissolve. You see that? But it left a slick surface. You put something like Taylor of Old Bond Street on and that does not dissolve. Yeah, it's dissolving. Look at that. But it is working. And this this razor is not as forgiving as the 34C. Nice. Took it off. All right. Let's see if I can whip up a little better lather. I always try to do things so quick in these videos for time. It is whipping up good.
gentleman in the uh, soap maker up from San Francisco has sent me down some samples uh, of some of his soaps. I'm looking forward to trying that. It's one of those little artisan artisan soap companies, so I'm waiting to open that up and try it. All right, see, so it looks okay now. But it is dissolving. But if that doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. Cracker Barrel, that's the name of that, uh, that restaurant chain. I don't think they have them in California. But they have them all over the US. Great pancakes. Yeah, she's dissolving, look. One guy once said uh, that I'm always very positive in my reviews. But usually, the stuff works. And it did work, but it dissolved. So that's my critique of this. So for 11 bucks, uh, you could probably find a little better stuff. In fact, uh, I do believe you can get the Parasso for less than that or around that, and this does not dissolve. But it's fun to try out new things. All right. Get that blood taken. I was getting that blood taken every week, or every week, every month, you know, to see how everything's going. And, Thank God everything was good. And I had this smart ass technician. She's taking the blood and I'm all looking up. She's going, uh, what are you looking away for? You've got all these tattoos, you know, uh, you know, why are you looking away? And I go, well, yeah, tattoos are enjoyable. Getting your blood taken is not. So she quit bugging me. All right. Eternity now. Let me see if I can spray this into my hand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> There's a burn. And it smells good. That Calvin Klein stuff's expensive. So it wouldn't be something I would use every day, but it's Friday, I'm going out tonight, so why not? It's a good smell and a good burn. If you're a fan of Calvin Klein, I like the old stuff, but uh, this stuff is a little bit better, more modern. Got a little bit of a difference. You know, they gotta make a change now and then, right? All right, well, there's another video. So, hope you guys are gonna have a good weekend. I'll try to shoot some uh, footage of that uh, luncheon tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Not supposed to rain now, so that's good news. Have a great night, a great weekend, and uh, don't forget, Cap uh, seventy nine ninety five. Hope I didn't get that wrong. Is doing his live broadcast tomorrow. They're really fun to tune into. So if you haven't done that, take a look. Uh, I hope I can sneak into that broadcast uh, from that lunch on that. All right, have a great night. It's Ken Surfs. It's so long for now.